Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. What a good day to do that though, because I'm going to the eye doctor. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is 6.40 in the morning. Um, I'm doing a come hang out with me for a day video. I think this is number five. Maybe it's number four. I should check, but come hang out with me because, you know, I always post those the last Friday of the month. So and today's actually a very exciting and long day. First of all, two things. One, if you don't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. I live with type 1 diabetes. I have had diabetes for over 20 years. So this channel is just about living your life with diabetes. Um, and I woke up at 118 this morning, so I'll put a little screenshot over here-ish. Um, but today is a bit of a crazy day because I am, am working and I'm going to an eye doctor appointment to get my annual eye like exam thing. And then I actually have my first therapy appointment. So I thought this would be a good day to film a vlog and I needed to film a vlog this week anyway. So it just all lined up really well. So my eye doctor is like two minutes from my apartment, which I love. Um, so I have a meeting from like 7 to 8 and then my appointment's at 8.30 and then I'm thinking I'll just not be able to see for like hopefully not that long because they're going to like dilate my eyes or whatever. Which is why I didn't put any mascara on this morning. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye! What a good day to do that though because I'm going to the eye doctor. Anyway, <laughs> that'd be funny. Um... I mean, it wouldn't be funny. Be ironic is what it would be. I'm putting this very close to my face. I just put lotion on my legs and I'm using my leg to hold my arm up so my arm is just slipping down my leg. Anyway, I didn't put mascara on because I figured like my eyes are going to get all watery and gross when they dilate them. Uh, so I didn't put mascara on, which is why I probably look like I'm half awake. And I'm really glad I'm doing this today because if you don't know, I live in the desert where it's bright and sunny and they dilate your eyes. But it's cloudy today. A little bit. There's parts of blue sky. But it's like pretty cloudy. So I'm like, yes, that works in my favor. Picked a great day without realizing it to um, go to the eye doctor. But uh, back to my therapist. I'm excited. I'm. This is like... I had like a pre-screening call. Um, I talked a little bit before that I was going to therapy when I lived in Pennsylvania. And I kind of was like, oh, I'll be fine here. But ever since I've been living here, you know, it's like such a big change. I was like, I should just go to a therapist again. And the other reason I started to go to therapy again is um, because I got my pump, I hit my deductible. So I thought like, it's going to be as cheap as it's going to be. So why not just like do it. So I'm going to do my first therapy appointment tonight and it's like a screening thing, like get to know each other sort of thing. So I'm very excited for that and we'll see how it goes. And if I like the person, I think I will, but you never know. Anyway, I need to get to work, prep for my meeting, make myself a cup of coffee in my, you can't see it. Oh, you kind of can in my, um, my teal yeti mug that I stole from my mom when I was well I was like can I have this and at first she said no and then she said yes so I took it back to Arizona with me but in my yeti mug that I realized I love them because I keep my coffee hot for a really long time I don't feel forced to drink it anyway I've been blabbing on for like hours so I'm gonna go make my coffee go to work and I'll talk to you guys before I go to the eye doctor Thumbs up. It also, just because I think this is like super exciting, there was a little dust storm last night and I was like, wow, this is my first day Arizona. I, I was here when there was a haboob like years ago in 2011 on a trip randomly, but as my first like dust storm, like living here and I could see it and it was crazy. It got really windy, but I don't think it was like that bad. But A, it's monsoon season, which means rain and clouds. And also humidity and high temperatures, so you win some, you lose some. Anyway, I need to make my coffee. I got my coffee. Thanks, Mom, for letting me have your mug. Your expensive Yeti mug. I appreciate it. I love you very much. Keeps my coffee warm. All right, gotta go to work. 
I'm about to go to my eye doctor's appointment. I must say, I fell victim to the Lululemon belt bag. I saw it in this olive color and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. And I love it and now I kind of want to get it in black, so I might do that. But everyone has this belt bag and I was going against it for so long, but then I was like, ugh, fine, I'll do it. I honestly didn't get it for a long time because I was like, oh, I need my insulin pen. But, and like, not that it wouldn't fit in here, but it's just such a small bag. But I'll show you really quick how I carry all my junk in here. Because I only have like one little low snack thing because I don't totally worry about going low now that I have the, um, <sighs> pump and I don't need to like bring supplies with me. So let me show you. I've got my little cards right here and I have the rest of my, the contents of my wallet in this back pocket, but keys. And then I just have a few gels and then hand sanitizer, chapstick, blah, freaking da. But that's it. So anyway, that's what I carry in my little bag, but I love a small bag. I hate big giant bags. And that's one of the things that bothers me about diabetes is I feel like I always need a giant, bag anyway i'm going to the eye doctor now this hair what is it doing back there i feel it in my head just like being annoying i might need to take this headband off and just pull my hair back um i'm gonna go to the eye doctor i'm gonna leave my camera here and i will just pick this up when i come back or i'll use my phone i don't know but wish me luck hopefully my eyes aren't broken i mean i don't think they will be they, I can see fine, but hopefully my eyes get a good report. My eyes are dilated and I can't see anything and they feel warm and fuzzy because they're numbed. They took pictures of my eyes so they look really cool and also disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'm back home. I can't really see the camera, but I hope it's in focus. Um, so they did the dilating of my eyes. I literally can't see anything close up. And everything is like kind of fuzzy. Like I don't, I almost feel like I'm looking under water or it's like I have water in my eyes. I don't know, which has not really happened before, but I think it's normal. Anyway, pretty good appointment. I do have the start of diabetic retinopathy. So I think like maybe a couple of blood vessels in my eyes are kind of like, leaking i don't know he said like it's nothing to worry about right now just come back in a year we'll keep an eye on it so that's what i'm gonna do I'm not gonna worry about it but i'm gonna keep it in the back of my head in the back of my eyes lol because that's what they look like or that's where they look at for retinopathy but um i'm just gonna keep my blood sugars in control keep my a1c good as can be and then just see what happens. He was like, don't worry about it now. It's nothing to even like lose sleep over, but just we know it's kind of going on. So we can take care of it when we need to. So anyway, um, but I can't see anything. So I'm gonna put the camera down and just like watch some television, which I think won't be blurry. And then go from there. I don't, I hate this. I can't wait. I love, I can't wait for these eye drops to wear off. I don't know if it's the numbing drops that make it look like it's underwater or what but or it's just so bright here that it's just that it's really weird anyway i'm gonna pick up the camera a little bit oh my blood sugar is let me look at my pump i think i i think it says 140 honestly i don't even know if i hold it far enough away it says i have to hold it like this far from my face to see 140 so i'm doing good feeling good and yeah Thumbs up, as always. Also, I took the headband out of my hair because it just wasn't a vibe. All right, so this is where I'm going to be the rest of the afternoon for now. I, cl I closed all my blinds. Let me show you. Closed all my blinds. Closed that door. I'm trying, I'm trying to make it as dark as possible in here. Uh, luckily, I can see the TV, even though it looks a little weird. But I'm just going to just gonna hang out. I will update you guys in a little bit, maybe around lunchtime. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Um, and we'll see where we're at. I have not picked up the camera in a couple hours. It's one o'clock. I haven't eaten lunch yet either. Um, I took a little nap. My eyes feel better, but they're still huge. And don't look at my eyebrows, but like, wow. 
My pupils are still ginormous. Um, so I'm about to eat lunch. I'm just eating a bagel for lunch. I'm going to toast my blood sugar is it's still dark in here. Um, my blood sugar is 231. So yeah, I still can't see like super close. Like I don't think I could write emails or anything. Um, but it is getting better and my eyes are still super sensitive to the light. So I'm just going to keep everything shut and not have it open which has actually been really nice i took a little nap to try and like help a little bit um which it did but it's so weird eyes are weird man so weird so i'm gonna need some lunch now and then um i have my first therapy appointment coming up soon so i'm very excited about that my eyes are still huge it's been like an hour hour and a half um i'm about to go outside and get a package and i'm honestly like i think i need to wear my sunglasses because i can't deal with the brightness um there's like a little light coming in under my shade and it's very bright so i'm gonna do that and then i have my therapy appointment here in like 15 minutes so i'm excited for that i probably won't pick up the camera again before but i will talk to you guys after and let you know how it went I'm excited all right my eyes I don't even know I, it's too dark in that room to see if my eyes are like any better I'm holding that very close to my face there's something in my eye I just realized my eyes are almost back to normal it's taken all day they're definitely less sensitive to light than they were actually I'm gonna film this in here because it's nice and bright in here um I had a really good therapy appointment. It was just like the, it wasn't like a proper therapy appointment, but it was just like the intake. But I really like the therapist I found. Um, I don't know if I realize this, but like she like works with people who are, have like autoimmune diseases and stuff. So like, I don't know. I feel like I kind of hit a gold mine maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm super excited to, meet with her and get therapy going out here because I think you guys all know that I love therapy and think that everyone could benefit from it. It's just if people have access to it. So I feel really fortunate that I met my deductible, although I paid for my pump like basically out of pocket to pay for my deductible. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but I'm feeling good. I'm out of breath a little bit because I just like ran up and down the stairs to get my mail like three times. So I got a little workout in. Um, it's 4.30 now, so I think I'm just gonna relax on the couch, watch some reality TV. I'm re-watching Southern Charm. Um, well, I watched the last season, but I've never seen like the beginning of the series, so I'm just re-watching it. Um, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. So I will check in with you guys when I make my dinner. And I'm making chicken kebabs tonight and I think it's called right rice. It's Spanish right rice, which is like low carb rice. It's like lentils and stuff. So I don't know, but that's what I'm making for dinner. It's going to be good. And I think I'm just going to hang out. I was trying to decide if I want to go to the grocery store and get some snacks, but I just feel like <sighs> hanging out and not really doing anything. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thumbs up. I have nothing else to tell you guys, so I'll talk to you later. If you can't tell, I've been just lounging on the couch all evening. It's almost seven o'clock, we're about to start cooking dinner. I can't remember if I said what I was making, uh, so I will tell you now. I am making chicken skewers, oh no, I did say, and right rice. Um, so it should be like a super easy meal. I need to get the right rice out of the pantry. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be like a little easier on your blood sugars, so yeah, I've had it before. It's been pretty good. I haven't tried the Spanish though, so I'm excited to try it. And yeah, so I'm going to cook some dinner. My blood sugar is 165, so cruising along. Um, I think after I eat dinner, I am going to run out to the store because I need to get some stuff. And I just kind of feel like leaving my house because I feel like I've been inside, literally behind like... The curtains all day so i kind of want to get out and go somewhere so i'm gonna do that after dinner um but yeah i will touch base with you guys once i make dinner or when i eat it i don't know i don't know dinner is served i got some 
chicken, which I did on my indoor ninja grill. Love that thing. And some Mexican, um, Spanish right rice. It's hard to say. I'm going to do a taste test. Thumbs up. I'm excited to eat this. Oh, my hair. Girl, what's going on? I don't know. This hair is just not something else today. Um, I finished dinner. I'm definitely going to make that again. It was so good. Where do I put this that I'm putting back in my refrigerator? I can figure out the right spot for it. It was so good. I'm definitely going to make those chicken like nugget things again. Um, I don't know about the white right rice, right rice. It was pretty good. I don't know if the Spanish rice was my favorite, but it like it was good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go run my errands now. It is a beautiful sunset. What's the temperature? It's 100 degrees outside, so you know it's cool to huff. Um, let me show you the sunset. It's so pretty. I love where I live. Oh look, the camera changed. Okay, it looks mm, so pretty. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go run my errands and then I'll talk to you guys when I come back. And I'll probably go to bed then, honestly, because it's like 8 o'clock now. It's 7.30. It's basically 8. Okay, time to go run some errands. Before I forget, I have my Dexcom on my arm and it has kind of started falling off, so I had to put a skin tack thing on it but I really like it on my arm I decided to just like randomly change it up and it's been great I love it I think I'm gonna put on my other arm I'm gonna try and rotate those more versus just on like my stomach so yeah exciting all right it's about 8 45 I honestly think I'm going to bed soon because I'm tired I am that's my blood sugar oh come on watch I am 173 after dinner, so honestly, I really like that right rice, the blender, whatever. So I'm definitely going to try that more, I think. I'm going to try the other flavors, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm annoyed with myself because I need to run back out to my car again because I left something in the car by accident, and the other day when I left my house at night, I saw a snake. My first Arizona snake, it was terrifying. It was creepy. If you know me, you know I hate snakes with like every ounce of my being. So I'm kind of annoyed I have to go out and look for a, um, I don't have to look for it, and get my, the thing I left in my car, which is my prescription. It's not insulin or anything, but I just like should go get it now before I forget and let it sit in the freaking hot car all day tomorrow. So I'm ending my vlog here. This was a fun day. I feel like I didn't do a lot today, but I also feel like I did a lot today. Like I went to the eye doctor, did my therapy thing for the first time, but I also like laid on the couch most of the day because I couldn't see. So I'm sorry if this wasn't a super eventful vlog, but you know, it was also a very eventful vlog. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so make sure you have your notifications on and you follow me on Instagram and all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!